Guys, I want to make this video to dive a little bit deeper on the point I made in a previous video, a couple of videos back titled, The Sexual Marketplace is Destroying Society. And one of the points I made in that video was that men who have the access to all these women, you know, your eights and your nines and your 10 out of 10s, your chads basically, they shouldn't be sleeping with women that are below them or quite a few levels below them. Now the reason for this is I think chads have to take responsibility here. I think chads have to take a little bit more responsibility for society as a whole. I explained in that video society is going down the drain and one of the big factors is the, the complete chaos that is happening in the sexual marketplace, right? And, and too many incels, too many guys who are not getting any access to women, etc. And I feel like the guys who have the access they can have a, take a little bit more responsibility here by keeping their standards high. Now, I think in life in general, you should already keep your standards high. It's something I tried to abide by in recently is, you know, for a lot of my life, I haven't done that. And then since I've been doing that, my life changed a lot. But in, we're gonna talk about it in regards to women here. So if you're a guy who's an eight out of 10, <clears throat> I don't think you should be rolling with girls that have sixes. Yeah, for six or five or whatever, just a couple of levels below you. Okay, seven, yeah, one level below, fine. But I don't think you should be, should be messing with those type of girls. The reason being is that we know that guys do that. We know that the guys who have the access to a lot of women do roll with women and do sleep with women that are a couple of levels below them. You know, your eights and nines will sleep with fives and sixes from time to time they will do it and now with the access you know of, in, of internet dating tinder etc they do it more often they've always done it it's just become a little more common so what's happening is you're you're building up the this ego amongst these women these fives and sixes and someone that believe well if i'm getting access and i can sleep with these guys then i must be an eight as well and they think they are higher than what they are because they sleep with these guys or a high level. Well, I'm a 10. I go to school, I go to work, and I have a great personality. And or they just hang around and, and you know wait until they do get access into those high guys. Why would they sleep with the girl, a guy who's a six like them when they can have, from time to time, they can have a sex with an eight or a nine. Like why, you know, they're not gonna wait around for that guy. So what you're ended up having is a lot more men who aren't getting these access to these very average women. So guys who are sixes and sevens, they're not, they're not getting those women because those women are a little bit delusional because these chads are having sex with them from time to time. And that's just causing a whole bunch of chaos in the sexual marketplace, right? That's, that's just pulling things all out of whack women have ex their standards are increasing all the time average average women their standards are going through the roof i mean the the things that men need to be doing now the amount of hoops they need to jump through is ridiculous it's not just six foot tall six pack six figures six inch penis it's so much more than that these days it's crazy and it's more and more our average women what we're talking about is demanding these things and that's because these fucking chads will entertain these girls And if you go and back watch that video, I tell you the path we'd lead down if we continue this route. Eventually you end up with too many men, too sexually frustrated and that society ends up breaking down. These men become very violent and society collapses and so on. So I really believe this. I, I, over the years as I've gotten older, I really, really believe the fact that these chads have to hold a bit more responsibility with the role that they play. now. If you're a Chad watching this and you're saying, well, I don't give a fuck about some guy who can't get laid. I don't care about them. I'm going to get all the access I can. I'm going to have as much pussy as I, as I can get. And I'm going to have a great time and fuck all of you. You know, say, okay, if that's, if that's how you feel, fine. Like I, I understand that, that frame of mind. I mean, at the end of the day, how many people can we really give a shit about? Can we really give a shit about society as a whole, as individuals? 
However, but if that's your, if that is your point of view, okay, but don't go pointing the finger at women then. Yeah, don't do what the, most of the, the Manosphere and the red pill community does and they just point the finger at women and say, well, it's all women's fault. Women are just, women are whores now, women are slags, you know, they, they don't want to, they don't want to commit when they're young anymore and they're more interested in their careers and sleeping with chads and their standards are so ridiculously high and blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute, you can't be good just pointing the finger at them if that's your mindset. Because you, you guys are contributing to this too. And I hold my hands up and I say I was part of that contribution. Now I'm not gonna say I'm the best looking guy in the world, but I've done, I did very well before I met my wife, did well with, with women and I had, I would consider myself reasonably good looking, right? And I did well, but I would entertain girls that were not very good looking. So I, I, I played my role back then. I, you know, I, I contributed to this chaos. I hold my hands up, but now but I see, I understand it now. I wouldn't, if I was to go back in time, I wouldn't do that stuff. But I definitely think, <clears throat> I definitely think it's food for thought for those guys. And remember as well, I, Jordan Peterson says this, if all you are is chasing casual sex, then that's all you will become, right? You'll just be a partner. Eventually, people will only see you as a casual sex partner. And that leads me to my next point for these guys is I don't, if you, I do think you should be having your fun. I do think you should be trying to spin plates and have sex with multiple women when you're young, etc. And if you have the access, that's great. I do think you should be doing that as a man. Um, it is different with women and I do think men should be doing that. Get it out of their system because when they eventually do want to settle down on someone, it's out of their system. You know, they're not wondering, oh, what if, what would that lifestyle have been like? You know, how much fun would it have been? I think get it out of the system, but don't do it for too long. I would say maybe a year. When you're young, if you've got that opportunity, do it for about a year, 18 months tops. And folk then, and you know, make, put all your eggs into focusing on, on building yourself into the best version that you can be in your, your career and business and your health and your fitness and so on. And then eventually, hopefully finding a decent woman and starting a family with that woman. I don't think having the back, living the bachelor lifestyle for many, many years is, is the best way to go. I don't think it helps you as an individual. I think it, I think it lessens you as a man. It lessens your soul. Eats away at you. People see you differently. You know, eventually they don't respect you. You know, if you're, if you do this, you know, way into your, I don't know, late thirties, forties, people look at you differently. You know, there's, there's not quite that respect there from your peers. And women look at you differently. Women look at you just as a good time. You know, they don't trust you to be. for security, providing, etc. A long-term stable mate, moving into fatherhood, etc. And of course, like I've mentioned, I don't think it's great for society as a whole. Destabilizes the whole sexual dynamics between men and women. So, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on it, guys. Yeah, let me know what you think. If you're a good looking guy, and you're watching this, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? I'm full of shit. Do you care? Do you not, not care about it? I will be very interested to hear your thoughts. So get commenting guys, all right? I hope you enjoyed the video. Join me for the next one.